Uh, okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm here today to talk a little bit about the different parts of the of the business, about uh, different approach to the business, uh, which could be applied not only to the to the IT, but could be applied to any any, any business you you can see. But before that, let me say a few words about myself. So my name is Michal Golda, and I'm based in Poland. Uh, I'm technical development manager at Microsoft. Previously, I was an architect, uh, being able to get uh, EASA CETA certification. Uh, I'm also historically developer uh, from C++, C, .NET, and so on. Additionally, I'm father, husband, sport fan, and uh, dog owner. Uh, if you would like to contact me, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm available for this email. So uh, with that, I think this is all about me. And let me let me come back to the to the to the top topic which uh, which I would like to cover today. Gamification. What is this? This is. Let me start with the very general approach. It will be about what is the game. And uh, on this slide, you can see brilliant picture of uh, which is called children's game. And this picture is from uh, 19th, uh, 16th century, uh, painted by Peter Brugger, the older Edler. And uh, one of the one one of the definition of the game, which I uh, which I found, and I like short sentence, so that's why I, I put it here. The game is form of play with goal and structure. This is this is good definition, but I would like to give a little bit more about uh, how the game should look like. So uh, looking at the history of the of the human being, there was the uh, very famous, let's call it father of anthropology uh, in, uh, in 20th century. And this guy is called uh, Johan Huizinga. It is Dutch uh, historic and anthropology father, as I said. Uh, and he he bring the idea that uh, uh, on the beginning of 20th century, he bring an idea that games are advanced in terms of the civilization. And from his perspective, the game should be a, a voluntary activity, uh, which will be separated from the our usual usual serious world. Uh, but from the other side, game is the uh, is the activity which will bring you completely to this game. And uh, the important part, which also he, he he mentioned that the good game should have, is that it shouldn't be connected with the uh, economy uh, part. So you should uh, take part of the of the game. Voluntarily, without without having any any economy uh, advance after the game. Uh, also, from the from from Huizinga said that game should be uh, should be something mysterious that you will have stories behind it that you will have uh, ability to be more and more within it. Let me. Uh, Put another very important uh, part of the game that game need to have rules, and this is all about these goals and structures. What does it mean rules? That before you will join the game, you will need to know how to how to move within within this world, how you will uh, be able to achieve your goals, and uh, what these goals will be. And we as a people, we, we like rules, and we, we are social people, so social uh, animals, so we, we like rules. Let me, let me tell the story that, uh, for example, you are going to the Starbucks to order your coffee in the morning before the, you will go to, the, uh, to work, and you are staying in the, in the queue, there are a couple of people uh, in front of you, and you are waiting. And everything is fine, you have time, uh, you feel relaxed, you will get your coffee and everything will be wonderful. 
but in the in the minute someone is coming to the Starbucks do not care about the queue just come to the table and say I want the coffee latte bigger and, and so on how you feel about it from the economic perspective there will not be any loss from your side from the uh, physical perspective also not but you will feel that someone that just break the rules the rule is the queue that you need to you need to uh, stay to be able to get your products and this is exactly the same the same situation in terms of the games you do not feel comfortable if someone will break the rules of the game okay uh, also in terms of the games I would like to mention that in 2008 uh, average player or one of the very famous game called World of Warcraft spent more than 20 hours per week playing this game which means in the same time this person do not do anything else do not watch the TV do not watch uh, uh, read the book uh, or do anything else just play 20 hours per week every average player which is huge amount of huge amount of uh, of time from the other side if you look at the uh, if you look at the current world social media uh, are also some kind of games you are playing for you have some rules you could add people you could create your own status you could uh, get more people more, more likes and this is some achievements and uh, people are tend to have more more friends on Facebook more likes and so on and so on so this is also some kind of the game so thinking about it from the from the different perspective do you think that everything could be a game probably probably everything could be some kind of the game and this is something which I will I will talk a little bit more uh, later okay let's 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 let, let's move on and another important part of the of the game is players or our players and we can we can talk about four groups of players first one is achievers so achievers are people which are very directed to to uh, to be better in better in the in the in the task which they are need to do in the game uh, they are they goal is to collecting points getting higher levels this is the th this is the goal of achievers they are exploring the world only to get higher level only to get the uh, to be higher in the in the in the what they achieve in the game another important group is explorers these people are much more related to how to explore the world how to find new places how to be able to uh, um, get some uh, ideas get new new areas and so on and so forth they are not keen to get points they are rather uh, focused on looking for new spaces looking for ability to to to, to move wider in the in the in the in the in, in the game another group is uh, socializers these people are much more uh, concentrate on how they would like to build a team within the game and to be able to uh, to have some kind of interactions with the other players in the game interesting uh, behavior is that if you know that you in the game you are playing with real people not the avatar of the of the of the of the pc your feelings are much closer to the to, to the uh, feelings which you have with, where you interact with the people face to face even it is in the virtual world if you know that you are playing with real people your feelings are much closer to the feelings which you have when you uh, meet people face to face this is amazing from my point of view another another type of players are killers <laughs> this is type of uh, players which uh, uh, which power is the is the goal of, of of playing they would like to have bigger power they would like to explore the world only to be able to 
to get this world, to have bigger influence and to have huge power. And with that, I would like to move to, to a little bit another topic because now I think I, I, I discuss what, what is game and what is the players. Now let's, let's, let's switch a gear and uh, come back to, let's say, world problem. And the world problem, I mean talking about the customers and employees, talking about, uh, from the company perspective, talking about your interaction with external world and your interaction with your internal world. And, and, and with that, I would like to talk about two elements. First of it is engagement. And with engagement, uh, I would like to highlight that people need to be en engaged in something to be able to be fully professional and to be fully dedicated to something. Focus is extremely important uh, points which you need to have to be able to be uh, efficient, to be able to more productive and to be able to to deliver according to the expectations within the specific time. Uh, if you are not engaged and if you do not have the, uh, let's say, power in yourself to be able to be engaged what you are doing, Rather, you will look for something, how to do something else in the same time, not, uh, not fully focusing on, to, on, on this stuff. Engagement is important everywhere. So if you are engaged in the discussion with the, with the with person, this person will feel it and also will share the engagement. If you will not be engaged with the discussion with someone, you will also not be, uh, this, the person which you talk with will feel it and will not uh, be fully dedicated to the discussion. Uh, what what is very good example of the of the of the of the engagement is the uh, sports fans. This is the this is the picture of the uh, Irish football fans, and they are engaged really with the what they are doing to 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 support their team. They believe in the in the in the in the power of their 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 passion to the to the team. This is this type of engagement, which which is all about uh, not of economical advance, but being an engaged just for 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 himself, being able to be together to get this dopamine uh, stick, which 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 they get having this passion together. Uh, looking at this, people are very chemistry oriented. I'm, uh, I have master degree in, in chemistry also and from this perspective people are very interesting chemistry factor. So if, if you are engaged you feel much more happier in terms of, uh, in terms of your feeling because of the uh, 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 hormones which you, which, which, which you get. Uh, I would like to I would like to talk a little bit about the engagement types. So, if we look at the uh, receivers, we can say that uh, people can receive the the, 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 the information or the, the the topic in the two 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 mode, in the active mode and in the passive mode. From the other side, uh, you could have two types of communications. One type is the repeated communication and uh, improvised communication. And now, if we have this matrix and we will put engagement as a, as a, in, the, in the middle, we can provide some interesting, interesting information. If we are talking about the, the, the media or the uh, activities which, which, which you could do. For example, if we talk about the TV, radio, which is this type of media which is, uh, to be really, really honest with you, is going down in terms of the popularity. Right now, people are not super happy about this, uh, to, 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 to watch TV. Radio is still okay, but watching TV is, is sometimes very boring. Because this is something very repeated, 
and from the uh, from the receiver's perspective, this is the passive approach because you do not have influence to what you will watch on the specific channel. You just can switch the channel, but switching the channel is also some kind of <laughs> some kind of game looking for the for the for the for the better show. On the on the on the other side, we could have a very active receivers with the communication improvised type, and this and this is about the strict performance and about the alternative reality game. This is something which engages you much more because you will be active from one side, and also you you will be surprised what will be the uh, the communication which you which you will get. So this is this is this is this is very important to understand if you are providing communication what type of communication you are you are providing and also in terms of how you will communicate it and what will be the receivers this will also have a huge impact to how the engagement looks like from your point of view with that i would like to I would like to talk about another topic. One was engagement, another one is motivation. Because we are, we are, we are talking about that we would like uh, our people which we are talking with to be much more motivated to what we are doing. We would like our kids to be much more motivated to learn. And we are just looking for, for motivation for ourselves to be able to to be better at work and to be better at home and, and, and whatever. And for example, very typical example is I can lose weight, it must be a trainer's fault. And this is this type of this type of motivation that if you uh, if you think about yourself that I need to I will not eat this cookie. I will need to find a motivation why I don't need, do not need to, uh, to eat this cookie. Why I would like to switch this cookie to uh, some vegetables, who would like to get rid of smoking or whatever. This is this type of uh, thinking which people have always. And also it is at home, at work or wherever. It is important to, to, to understand that if you uh, want to achieve some goals you also need to find a motivation how to how to achieve these goals and why why it is hard why it is hard to 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 lose weight why it is hard to 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 switch from the nice cookies to to healthy food I can tell you because recently I just I just lost uh, 20 kilos and uh, this is this is hard because you do not have fun with it. You you need to think about how you will get fun from it because then if you will have fun you will be much more motivated to it. Uh, how to get the fun? How to be able to 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 uh, to be motivated. Fun is all about uh, being proud of doing something to achieve the goals. And also being proud is, uh, is important because then you will think about how I can get next step to be able to, 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 to achieve uh, better motivation and better fun from, 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 what, from what I'm doing. Uh, And with that, I would like to come back to the to the to the to the business. So let's let let's think about our employees. Let's think about people which we are working with, and how, what type of people would you would like to what type of people would like to work with? You would like to work with people which will be uh, super dedicated, motivated to work and super engaged with what, what they are doing. Uh, with the games, it is, it is much easier. Because again, this is voluntary activity. People play the game because they have fun with it from one side. And from the other side, 
they will not get any, um, most of the time, they will not get any economical advance from, from, from it. But I would like to point another Uh, hi, yo, um, we seem to have lost sound. It, are you still there? This will be prop. Hello? Hi, yeah, so we'll you might want you might want to back up like one minute. The uh, audio cut out, so we couldn't hear you. Okay, can you hear me right now? Hello? Yes, you're just, you're just fine now. Okay, okay. So should I come back to previous slides or? Yeah, just maybe one slide. It's only been for like one minute. Okay, okay. I will I will come back. So again, I would like to talk about the employees, about the people which you are working with, about how they would like to how you would like to motivate them, how you would like them to be super productive, to be able to achieve more and to 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 work together as a team. I said that within the games it's just much easier because first of all this is not related to the economical value and this is the voluntary activity and from the other side they have fun with it so the fun which is related to playing games is something which they push them to do it every day or even 20 20 hours per day per week and uh, and even more and one more important part which i'm talking about the employees is is is, is leadership Usually, within the within the company, a leader, a manager, is someone who is the uh, long time in the organization, or have quite huge uh, experience within the organization, or have experience in general in terms of the in terms of the in terms of the business. And such people will be promoted to be to be a manager. And having in mind manager, this will be some kind of leader for for people. But in games, this is the approach is a little bit different. And from my point of view, a little bit healthier. Because leader in the games is someone who has who get this leadership by the results which he achieved. But results with the specific task. So how it is applied in the in, in the games that the, there is a leader for specific task which is not typical situation if we're talking about the company. Because in the, in, the, in, the, in the industry, typical manager will be a manager for, 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 for some time for every task which are there. And leader for everything which is related to, uh, to work is not good leader because we cannot be leader for every task are there. You, could, you should be a leader or should be manager for the specific task. And if you do this task perfectly fine, you could switch between teams to be a leader for similar tasks in the uh, other places. Not that you are staying in the one, one organization just to be a manager for, uh, for, for being a manager. And this, is, and this is one thing which is important to be taken from, from the games uh, to the companies. Uh, Another, another interesting uh, part is how to be able to, uh, to, to build the team. Uh, it is always, a, it is always a, a challenge because uh, within the team, responsibility is uh, very often not very clear. Within the team, the the rewards which you will get also will not be very clear how to how to divide it and let me let me let me tell the the story from one of the very famous game, game which is called everquest uh, in the everquest one of the biggest value of the game was to to kill the dragon and to be able to kill the dragon you cannot do it by yourself you need to approach dragon within the team 
and within an entire team, only within the team you will be able to uh, to do it. Simply, Dragon is much more uh, harder element to be uh, to be killed by, uh, by by personnel, so you need to do it within the within the team. But what is the really important is if you will kill this dragon, you will get uh, special points, special value. But this, if you kill one dragon and you, your team will be about 20 people, uh, you will get from this dragon only one or two such super, super important value. And now is the question, how you should take this this reward and to whom you should put it, and this was the and this was the problem in the in the EverQuest in EverQuest game. And players, by themselves, find a solution uh, how to solve such problem. They invent something called Dragon Kill Points, DKP. And when the team kill the dragon, every member of the team get the uh, get points. Uh, and then, with these points, they were able to buy things, and also this value, this huge award which was get it, taken from the from the uh, dragon, they were able to buy with these points. If they would like to buy for this particular dragon, they can spend this uh, this money if they will be able to do it. If not, they can take these points and put to the another. Uh, another fight with the with the dragon and from another value which they get and this is this is interesting because similar approach could be to to uh, to the to the to your work and to your teams you are not able to motivate people with money you need to motivate people with other stuff you need to motivate people with the uh, things which they will be able to to do with full engagement and full motivation and with that money is not is not is not good stuff i told you that uh, human beings are very 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 so, so social oriented so if they will be able to do something for a team and then they will be awarded in front of the team for it not with money because this will be the the the, the one of the biggest mistake to to miss or to match uh, or to mix uh, economic value with the social value but they will be awarded with uh, with, with with something uh, important for the team but not with the money this will bring really motivation to people and they will be really engaged which was doing and this was this was this was one of the uh, uh, part of the of the business now i would like to i would like to talk about another part of the business which is which is market which is our customers from 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 this point of view the technique how to sell products change completely 20 years ago if you would like to buy a bicycle uh, probably you will look for the advertisement in the in the newspaper, in the television. Uh, you will read about the uh, about the technical stuff about this bicycle. Uh, maybe you will go to shop to to look for it, to to think about how to uh, uh, even try to to ride this bike. This will be the 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 way how you how you approach buying a bike how you will do it right now and how I'm doing it right now when I would like to buy something probably I will look in the internet what is the what is the uh, uh, feelings about this product within the internet maybe I will talk with the some people uh, via internet even they will just my uh, fake friends on the on the on the on the Facebook I will talk about their experience within within this product I will much more interest in the uh, what are people feelings about the product, not the technical aspect. So, what is the what is the what is the main main difference here? The main difference is that previously 
the entire marketing, entire work in terms of the uh, in terms of the selling products was around information about the if you will have be able to have more information, then probably you will you will be able to to make a decision to buy this product. But right now it is it is changed because people are much more uh, overloaded with the information. We have information all over the, uh, the, the place. We have plenty of advertisement around uh, in the television when you are walking and so on. You have enough or more than enough information in your, in your head. So this is something which uh, you do not pay attention. You pay attention to, to another element of your, of your life and, and this is about the feelings and about the experience which you have with the using the product, buying the product, and being owner of the product. And, and with that, I would like to talk about a couple of examples. One of the important examples is a very interesting restaurant in Switzerland called Blinde Kuch. When you go to this restaurant, uh, you will not be able to have your phone, you will not be able to have your watch, uh, and it is completely dark. You will not see anything. The service is also uh, do in the, in, the, in the blind mode. So you just take all your things from your pocket, um, and you, you you are going to the to the uh, restaurant hall. You are seated in front of the table, and everything is completely dark. You do you are not able to see anything. And in such way, you are able to to eat. And why it's so 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 interesting? Because uh, also some uh, some medical treatments check that if you, let's call it, turn off one of your, uh, for example, your eyes, you are much more concentrated on the smell, how the products taste, and how, how, how you interact with the, with, the, with the food. And people are super interested about this restaurant. And this restaurant is very popular in Switzerland. And uh, many many other countries, similar restaurants appear in the all, and for entire world. Why? Because this is this is extraordinary experience, and this extraordinary experience is also something taken from the from from the games. You people pay, will I be able to pay more for something which is not obvious and eating in completely dark without able to see the food is something extraordinary and this is amazing experience because you will be able to to taste the food in a way which you do not do before and this is this, and this is and this is all about the uh, influence from from the games this is this is about experience let's take another another example let's take an example of Starbucks, which I already said. A uh, couple of years ago, when you would like to get a coffee, uh, you just buy the coffee, you, you take it, you do it at home, and, and you have it. If you would like to have a coffee, you go to the restaurant or cafe, and you will get the coffee. Uh, how, it is, how it is done in Starbucks, and why it is so popular, and why people love it? You go to the Starbucks, you have place which are which is also not obvious from the way how it is presented. Uh, then you you have interaction with the uh, with the with, with someone in, in front of you because you need to provide information what type of coffee you would like to have with what milk and uh, how strong. But from the other side, this person is also asking very often you what is your name, and this is this individual approach. Which, uh, which, which, which is very crucial. With this individual approach, you feel 
that you, ha you have entire experience much more for you. So the coffee is prepared just for you uh, with the with the best quality and the just as you would like to have it. And again, this is about experience and this is about having overall feeling to the product. What is what is what is important? Important is that from the games you have you are able to take experience. You are able to take feelings. You are able to think about work from the perspective of how I can uh, be more engaged without really um, influence my economy. How I can be engaged just to have better overall experience. And such examples I can provide many, 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 many more. But with that, I would like to I would like to move another step further. How the how the how the future will look like? From my point of view, hopefully, not everything will be gone, uh, uh, will be a game, because the important the most important part is to be able to divide between your economy sphere and your social sphere and your and that experience will be not only or will be not related to the uh, standard of you or not be able to about your how you will spend your money it will be much more experience about the people what i would like to say we need to keep from the also business perspective we need to keep feelings in mind we need to keep experience in mind and for that also gaming help you a lot for example one of the my previous uh, previous company we have the uh, team which was uh, dedicated to one special uh, special website and they use agile approach to 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 develop the product and what they have in the in the room when they see it they have the huge screen and on the screen they saw how the on the real life almost time they see the results of the of their work it will be how much bugs they have how much bugs tester was uh, able to find uh, how much bugs was fixed uh, how much uh, new task ap appear and so on and this was shown on the one screen and this was again one of the part of the of the gamification and this was also motivation for them to to be better to have the uh, more green fields on the on this field on, on the screen to be to be better at, uh, at work and with that i would like to say thank you and I